What's up comic and pop culture fans? So about two months ago I bought a small near half full short box full of Iron Man books. But I was in a rush, so after the books made it home, they kind of sat for like two months with a bunch of like new release books just waiting to be organized into my Iron Man boxes. I do know that at the time it did have some books that were in more than just Iron Man, and I do remember catching a quick glance at an amazing Spider-Man, but maybe it's just because I had some cool books coming in at the time, or maybe a honestly a little bit of laziness this stack did sit for some time like i said two months so well i just went on my annual trip to the adirondacks and i promised my fiance that i'd clean up all my stuff and organize my office i put my slabs with my slabs new books with the new books and i finally started putting all these iron mans into the iron man boxes i've got when i started seeing some little surprises here so now that I'm home, I thought I'd turn on the camera and go over this stack with you fine folks to show what goodies were in here waiting to be put away. Again, I knew there would be some more books than just Iron Man in here, but I didn't realize that it'd be almost half the pile. I did spend 100 bucks, and while most of the Iron Mans aren't really keys and were mostly duplicates, I figured I'd pick them up to see if I couldn't fill some holes in my collection, maybe get some nice repeat Iron Man keys that I could see. Uh, this stack had both. Admittedly, this stack actually only had three new Iron Man books that I didn't have to my current run. Womp. So this really truly is mostly repeats and such for me, although I do have to see which conditions are better and I'll do some replacing if need be. But there are some nice Iron Man keys in here that I can flip. Most importantly, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here that's not even Iron Man, which is a nice surprise when I bought blindly just Iron Man comics. So let's check it out here. And I'm start I'm just noticing that these aren't in any real particular order. I do always try to put this stuff together in an order, but like I said, this sat for like two months, so I'm sure all the comics got sloshed around and kind of combined here. Got some nice stuff, especially with Armor Wars coming up. Some of these Iron Man books might be uh, surfacing here. Uh, like I said, some of this is for the collection. Actually, very little of it was for the collection. The rest, I'm just going to have to see what looks better. And I'll do a little replacement and then just, I guess, sell off the duplicates for super cheap. 100 bucks I spent, and a lot of this I'll be, I'm sure, selling off for, you know, super cheap. So, hopefully we get that $100 back. It's not really about that. Some of this is just sort of an experiment, you know. I don't run a business. I really just do this for the fun and for the hobby. I still, believe it or not, I know some of you aren't going to believe me, but I don't really look at it from the financial standpoint. I really do it for the fun. However... If you can make a buck, try to do it, because you can get this hobby to fund itself. So this is all the stuff that I knew was in here. I didn't know which specific issues were in here. I just I, I knew that there were um, just Iron Man books in here. I didn't know if they would be keys. I didn't really know too much. I could have really gotten a bad batch. I could have gotten absolutely no keys, absolutely just nothing in here. I, you know, I got a little lucky. There are some keys. Oh, by the way, just to update you specifically on the Iron Man collection, I think I am something like 10 books left to have that run be absolutely complete. And, and the books would surprise you. They're actually not big keys. Iron Man 170. This is a nice one. Yeah, it, it would surprise you which books I'm missing. I'm actually missing a lot of the later ones near the end of the run, like the 300 levels. I think it went up to like 332, I want to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing some of those. I'm missing a few, obviously, in the uh, single and double digits, but not, not that many. I've really pulled a lot of those lately, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's mainly the 300s, a couple pieces in the 200s, a couple ones in the 100s. I am really close. I think the only one that's going to be difficult to obtain is that classic um, War Machine cover. That's the last of the major keys that I have to get to fill this run. So I'm being patient. I, 
I am trying to collect this Iron Man run solely not from eBay, solely from yard sales, local comic shops, meetups, trades, this and that's. And um, it's gotten me so far to the point where the run is almost complete. So I say I'm going to stick it out and try to do it that way. Something special about doing it, that old school way of just finding it in the wild. eBay is obviously great. You can go on and find the exact pieces you want, but it is a little bit more fun this way. So I think I'm going to stick to it. This 120, this is a nice little key here. Believe it or not, I actually have it. <laughs> so I really got to do some comparison to see which one is better. I'll uh, keep the one that looks a little bit nicer and I'll sell the one that's a little less. Gorgeous uh, covers here, although that is definitely an acquired taste. I like it though. The artist in me totally digs that stuff. Keeping it moving here. Oh, here's where we get into some of the stuff that wasn't Iron Man, like this Doom 2099. Kind of riddled with spine ticks though, but it is newsstand. I don't know, maybe you could sell that for a buck or two or something. Oop, a little bit more Iron Man left, sorry. Must have got that wrong there. Actually, that's a pretty nice cover. Keep it going here. I think this is right about where I started picking up some of the others. Yep, I did get a small little stack of Avengers. Some kind of smaller keys here. Love this Daredevil cover. It's not a key, but it is an anniversary issue and it's just gorgeous. I, I love that. Is that Tim Sale? It almost looks like it. I don't know. Some more Avengers books here. I think this was the origin of Rage. Remember Rage, guys? Yeah. <clears throat> Good stuff. Classic stuff. It did have some Spider-Mans, though, so I want to get to that to show you that. That's pretty cool. That was definitely a nice surprise for picking up a collection that I thought at the time was only 90% Iron Man, so we'll see. It's pretty good. Some of these Avengers are actually keys I was doing a little research on. Nothing crazy, you know, you know, three, four, five dollar stuff. A couple of it's in maybe like the 10 range, but nothing too wild. I'm in love with this cover of 175 though, I'll tell you that. Gorgeous cover. And we're into the Spider-Mans. We got some newsstand mid 200s of an ASM. 254 here, not bad. Now my ASM collection is pretty vast. I also pick up Spider-Man books from my buddy. Um, he's trying to collect the whole run. I have another dude and another dude that tell me to keep an eye out for ASM keys. I got a cousin that tells me to look out for ASM keys. So at this point, most of Amazing Spider-Man is duplicates for me, but I always pick up ASM, whether it be dollar bins or even more. Uh, I just always pick it up. And for something like this, I thought there was gonna be like one or two that I think I remember seeing. Ended up being quite a bit more. A nice little stack of them. Still unbagged, unboarded, so I am gonna have to get them in some protection kind of right away but i was very happy with this so let's keep it going i'll show you what we got a uh, quick uh intermission before we get to the spider-mans did get a couple image number ones young blood wildcats um interesting i don't really pick those up too much anymore but it's, it's always good to have thrown in on a collection so that's cool I know a lot of guys that love the image number ones. Here's got to be one of the best books of the haul. I think this is the final reveal of Hobgoblin. It's tricky because there's so many fake out reveal Hobgoblin books. That's the one I think you'll want though. Uh, that's a good one. And then, you know, just kind of some mid to 200 stuff. Uh, 266 here. Just got to get these things in bags and boards, man. Um, Man, I, that's so unlike me to let this all sit unbagged and boarded for two months. Jeez. Uh, first appearance of the Rose. Got got some spine wear and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Again, like I said, I thought I was just buying Iron Man. 
So um, I, I did know that there might be some extra things, but this is definitely more than I thought there would be. It's always nice picking up some 100 level Spideys, even if they're a little rough. Here we got 150, very nice. Big, not rip, but a fold right down the middle. I think someone probably put that in their back pocket, maybe on the walk home from school. Yeah, the, these all got some wear. Still, with, with Amazing Spider-Man, even the books that have wear, they're always just high demand. Non-key books, even with wear. That ASM is just a solid brick, man. Fellow collectors, most of you already know, ASM and maybe Batman are definitely just the way to go. It almost pays for itself. Very happy about this, and coming to the end, I think it's maybe the best or maybe close to. First appearance of Hydro Man and Newsstand. I thought it was particularly nice shape, too. Uh, that's definitely a win. Very happy about this. Make sure you actually look through your collections once you get it. Don't let it sit for two months. Get it bagged and boarded. Get it sorted. You might find some goods in there. And as always, keep on hunting.